Hi, I'm Tavdeen from ExcelPlugins.com, the place for WooCommerce store owners to increase their conversions. And in this video, we're talking about WooCommerce product pages. Now, obviously, product pages are insanely important. And the reason is they give your shoppers, your visitors, the right environment to evaluate your products. Because the truth is that the finest of beers will not taste good if it is served in a dilapidated bar with broken flooring and falling off ceiling. Am I right? Hell yes! Well, so which is why your product pages play a very important role in helping your visitors see your product in the right manner. They help them form the right impression about your products. So your product pages should increase the appeal of your products and also increase their desirability. At the same time, they should make your store feel credible and trustworthy. Now, there are some proven hacks that you can deploy to increase the credibility and trustworthiness of your product pages. Well, that go much beyond installing a good theme. And this is exactly what we're going to uncover in this video. Before recording this video, I visited over 50 stores to understand what they were doing right and what they were missing out on. And the result is this video. It's definitely going to put a spotlight on your blind spots. So now let me take you behind the scenes and show you the golden nuggets. All right, now let's start discussing about high converting product page. Now, the first thing that you must take care of when you are designing your product page is this. Is your product page distraction free? Well, it's extremely important that you do not distract your visitors with all the options. Yes, you should have social share options. Yes, you should allow them to choose size. You should also show product from different angles, but still you should make sure that everything is so well organized that it doesn't come in way of the other stuff. So that's the most important rule of a high converting product page that it is distraction free. Let me show you this amazing example of Zappos. You can uh, see the product very clearly. You can look at the intimate details of the product uh, uh, very clearly, right? Because the image is of high resolution. Now, you must see that the product name is uh, is right at the top and below it is the number of reviews that the product has received. Uh, so, which means that they have given the social proof right below the product name. So, this basically follows the inverted pyramid technique, which means giving people the most important information first. So, because when people, the first thing that people want to know is what's the name of the product and the next thing is that is this product in demand are others also buying this product right so that is why the social proof comes right after then as you can notice you have the option to choose the angle from which you would like to view the shoes right well then the price the price is written in bold big letters it's not just visible it's, but it's also very noticeable right um, then uh, about information about free shipping is right beneath the price so which means that you um, this is the flat price that you're going to pay for it you will not have to pay for shipping right are your product images high resolution and shot from different angles now now look at this i particularly like this product page the reason is that the images are of really high quality what is really interesting about it is that they are not just showing the back from different angles, right? I mean, you've got the front view, you've got the side view, you've got the back view, uh, you've got close-up shots and all of that. But in addition to that, they're also showing shots of roomy interiors. So you basically can get a sense of what all uh, you can fit into this bag and how it will look when you've got your iPad there or your MacBook there and your phone and your charger. You can fairly get a, get a fair sense of uh, uh, how much you can carry they could have easily shown just the interior shot without all these things but that wouldn't really help me imagine how the bag will look when I'm going to own it right all right so are your product descriptions well formatted and easy to read now this is a very important point the reason is that people have low attention spans and the last thing that you want to do is that you want to show them blocks of text so you want to stay away from committing that blunder instead what you want to do is you want to use bullets so short crisp bullets and you want to highlight all the important things about the product using bullets. Now, this is a product description of this uh, of this dress from Zappos again. Not just it is well formatted and written in bullet points, but, it, but also it uses sensory words. For example, look at this. The beautiful drape of Demri dress brings a timeless chick they won't forget soon. So what is this first line doing? Well, the first line is telling when you're going to wear this dress, you're going to cast an impression. You're going to 
look different from the others. So all these points made in USA, measurement, hand wash, all of that stuff, 100% polyester is written in crisp bullet points. Um, very, very scannable. Do you tell your shoppers how best they can use your products? Now, the example that I gave you here, well, this is perfectly an example of the image image showing how best people can use the product right uh, but you can also use words to describe how people can best use your products for example again looking at this uh, zappos um, uh, uh, the, the zappos example once again it says perfect to pair with tights or just your favorite heels so uh, you know it actually tells me how best i can use their product right so i can pair it with tights or i can just wear my favorite heels along with it right so they are going one step further and telling me how their product will suit me best, how their product will look best on me. So that's a tip there. Got a time sensitive deal on your product? Do you show a countdown timer to communicate the deadline? So if you're running a, a deal which is uh, which does not last for long and you want to make sure that you highlight the deadline because people are natural procrastinators. They do not take action until and unless they really feel the need to take action. You have to prevent them from procrastinating you have to prevent them from sleeping on their decision so for example here in this amazon's case um, they clearly show that this is deal of the day so on the product page itself they highlight that it is deal of the day and only for a limited time this 200 dollar product is available for 79 dollars right and the deal ends in just about 23 hours and four minutes so they should take the action within this time span otherwise they're going to miss out is your product available in limited quantity do you highlight that highlight number of items left in stock to create a sense of scarcity if something is scarce people want it even more now i must tell you that here it says only two in stock this statement is never going to push people to to add to cart right what it is going to do is that people who are already interested will have a clear reason to buy now do you display the exact savings in percentage and dollars on the discounted items by doing that the conversation in their head shifts from what they're going to spend to what they're going to save so look at this Amazon uses it brilliantly so it will tell you that the price of the product is this much and you save this much so what it is essentially doing is that it is not just giving you the savings in absolute number but also in percentage have you highlighted guarantees to uproot all last minute sales blocking objections of your visitors well now the thing is that people will have last minute objections you want to make sure that even though you are not present there you are actively closing the, uh, the sale through a well highlighted guarantee box so here is how um, bumblebee linens does it so they have this well highlighted guarantee box they talk about fast and free us shipping they talk about the minimum order that you need uh, for, for to qualify for a free standard shipping and how long it will take for my order to arrive uh, no hassle returns so again this could be my next question this could be my next sales blocking objection what about returns what if i'm not satisfied with the product what if I need to return? There's another brilliant example from mancrates.com. They also use this space to um, answer other questions like um, you can choose your delivery date at the checkout, orders placed by noon, EST will ship out the same day and the product ships in a crate and they also show the crate in which the product will be shipped here the little thank you note which goes along with the product so you get a sense of how uh, how the product will be shipped to you now these all these all these uh, points in the guarantee box actually take care of all your uh, last minute objections do you highlight your best selling products with an eye catching bestseller tag or a batch so here's how amazon does it very clearly it highlights uh, the best selling product with a bright orange bestseller tag so it's a number one bestseller in the cards games category right so if I am out there in the market looking for card games on Amazon well I'll clearly know that this one is the number one bestseller do you display the estimated delivery details on the product page now it's this is a very very interesting uh, case study basically this is featured by behave.org and what they showed was that this product page it clearly said that order within seven hours 42 minutes for next day delivery right so it gave a clear deadline to people that if they want it to be delivered the next day itself then they should uh, order place the order for the product within these many hours 
and you will be surprised to know that this was actually an A-B test. So the, the A version was with the statement, the B version was without the statement and the winning version was version A, which is with the statement. It won by 8.6%, right? So it increased the conversions by 8.6%, which is pretty in impressive how this little statement could actually have an impact as, as impressive as this. All right, the next thing, do you have an FAQ section to highlight, uh, to address all their last minute sales blocking objections? Now, FAQ is frequently asked questions or uh, we also call it SAQs, which is should ask questions. So the questions that they're not asking, but they should be asking, right? So you know those questions, you wanna make sure that you answer those questions in advance. Well, so this is how rollingskate.com does it. Now, it's interesting to see that um, they added this frequently asked question section and it increased conversion by 69%. All right, now the next thing is, do you feature high quality videos on your product page that show your product from different angles? Now, this is a video on the product page of SF Bags. Now, this is a laptop bag and um, it's a beautiful, beautiful video. He shows the intricate details of the product. How the, He talks about attention to detail. He talks about the waterproof design of the product. Um, he kind of takes you inside the bag and shows you what all you can store in the bag. So when you see him exploring the product, doing different stuff with the product, you can almost see yourself. It really helps you visualize things better, right? So that is what a good video really does. Do you feature a product recommendation section towards the bottom of your page? Uh, the sales of online uh, giant Amazon.com, 60% of its sales actually come from product recommendations, on-site product recommendations, which basically means that if they weren't recommending products to their uh, to their uh, shoppers if they weren't showing related products if they weren't showing product recommendations on the product pages to their shoppers they would be losing out on a massive 60 percent of sales so on the product page itself you you would want to add a section which shows related products for example in roller skate notion nation you've got this when you scroll down on the product page you see this section you may also like where they have where they show related products and recommended products now in woocommerce you have the option to add cross sales you have the uh, option to add uh, upsells right do you show customer reviews along with the date of publishing again it's a very very uh, uh, effective conversion hack uh, basically it increases the believability of your reviews it uh, helps re it, it, it helps um, people trust the reviews even more when they see the date of publishing right um, just how this mancreates.com does it so along with the name of the person who has published the review they also show the date when the product review was published um, then all right this is really interesting do you show get notified option on out of stock products now products do go out of stock you run out of stock on products and that's perfectly fine but one way to deal with the situation is to just let them know that this product is out of stock and that's it just a cold message this product is out of stock the other way is this which is to capture their email ID and let them know that, sorry, the product is out of stock, but we can notify you once we restock it. So what you can do is that you can build an email list on automation. Even your out of stock products can turn into gold mine of leads, which is great. And now when you notify them, when you tell them that the product is, is, product is restocked, just because they expressed interest in that product, they're highly likely to come back to your store and get the product. So why miss out on this opportunity of building such a dedicated email list, right? Finally, do you give shoppers the option to share your products on social channels? This is uh, from Mancrates again, and they have all these um, important links for social sharing. They've got Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, and all of that, right? So you can go ahead, uh, I mean, visitors can go ahead and share it on one of their favorite social channels. And um, yeah, that's it, spread the word. So make your visitors your, your best marketeers. Let them go and tell their friends about a great product, right? Let them become, uh, let them become the drum beaters for your store.
Thank you so much for watching, but this definitely was just the tip of the iceberg. There are so many strategies and tactics that you can apply to increase your conversions. Well, if you're a WooCommerce store owner, I would encourage you to go ahead and click on the link in the description. In the description box is an article which gives you 50 plus techniques to increase your WooCommerce sales. I'd encourage you to go ahead and click on it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this channel well, so that I can keep you updated with the latest e-commerce trends, WooCommerce tutorials, how-tos, conversion hacks and a hell lot more. Thank you so much for watching. That's me, Tavleen, signing out.